pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America <laughs> and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. Good morning and welcome to the 28th edition of Wake Up Tacoma. Today is Monday, October 15th. It is still October, but before you know it, November will be here, and with November comes National Native American Heritage Month. President George H.W. Bush designated November 1990 as the first National American Indian Heritage Month. If you are not aware, the history of the American Indian is a tragic one, involving the theft of their lands, the attempt to destroy their culture, and the killing of most of their population. It is something all Americans should know, as Americans were responsible for these atrocities. Chief Red Cloud of the La Lakota Sauix once Sweet. said, I am poor and naked, but I am the chief of a nation. We do not want riches, but we do want to train our children right. Riches would do us no good. We cannot take them with us to the other world. We do not want riches. We want peace and love. Tacoma Park students, listen for information about Native Americans, American Indians, and Alaska Natives in the coming month. The first round of Science Bowl tryouts is after school this Thursday on October 18th in room 110. Please come to room 110 as soon as possible after the bell rings. You must attend this tryout to be eligible for Science Bowl. Check out the Science Bowl Google Classroom page, code SNG101, for more questions about tryouts. Or see Ms. Epling in room 110 if you have any questions. And now, a word from our sponsor. Hi class, so today I'm going to be out for a little while. In the meantime, Mr. Dr. Moodle will be taking care of you. It's very nice to see all you students trying to learn as much as possible. I love subs. You just get to do fun stuff. Plus, the subs are so cool. I'm just going to goof off and prank them. Maybe it's not such a good idea. I'm just going to do my work. <laughs> okay, loser. Have fun working. What a Weebasaurus. Okay, kids, here's your work. If you need me, I will be at my desk watching the cat videos. Finally, this is my chance. I'll never get caught. What's that behind you? Timmy, what happened? Uh, it must have been, um, Jeffrey. No, it wasn't Jeffrey. Look, he's sitting there doing his work. <laughs> well, I mean, I was just playing around. Right, Jeffrey? You've made a big mistake today. Detention for life. Please. No! Just wave. Hey, hey, bro. <laughs> Welcome back, and I apologize. It's the Lakota Sioux. And now it is time for a mindfulness minute. This morning, we will be playing a quick video to, to continue to explain what Mindfulness Minute is all about and, different, and describe its possible benefits. Immediately following Makeup Tacoma, there will be an additional Mindfulness Meditation Minute to practice being present in the moment for any classes that are able to take an extra 60 seconds before starting the week. Before I tried mindfulness, I felt threatened all the time. Really disillusioned with life. Confused. Tired. Stressed. Frustrated. Scattered all over the place. Overwhelmed. Anxiety over the future. Worried. It was kind of taking over my life. 
I tried mindfulness because I felt stressed out. I was very concerned with the future and what my day was gonna look like tomorrow and everything that was happening. My life was always about what happened in the past and what's gonna happen in the future. So by doing mindfulness, I live much more in the now. It is just a different approach to life. We all experience difficult challenges in our life, like stress, pain, and depression. Mindfulness can give us resilience to rise above those challenges and live life more fully. Mindfulness is a particular type of meditation where we bring our awareness to the present moment. We can let go of the past, let go of the future, live life more fully, more joyfully. We all are too busy. I think it's a thing that everybody's just so busy all the time right now. You always have something that you have to do or you're always going towards a certain goal and mindfulness is just taking a moment to look at your life without any expectations. Take time for yourself rather than getting carried off in all the daily activities that you have. Mindfulness can be practiced by anyone, no matter what your religion, your age, or your background. We don't have to wait until we have time to do like a formal sitting meditation to practice mindfulness. We can bring that same mindful awareness to any activity that we're doing through our daily lives. So walking can be a meditation, eating our lunch, brushing our teeth, being creative, painting, writing, or playing music can get us deeply in touch with the present moment. Mindfulness is available anytime, anywhere. It's a tool and skill that you can use for the rest of your life, and it's, it's easy through simple daily or not daily exercises. I mean, it just keeps us all just calm and present, and I think that that's healthy for anybody. It can be beneficial for everyone, and you just have to go in with an open mind and take everything slowly instead of trying to get through life quickly and do as much as I can, and as fast as I can do it. Instead, just enjoy everything you do and maybe look at life from a more positive perspective. So I really invite you all to try it, to experience it, and to see for yourself how mindfulness might be able to affect and transform your own life. Justin. This Justin, on Wednesday, October 17th, there will be no difference makers as Mr. Gehring has to leave the building immediately after school. Again, there will be no difference makers this Wednesday, October 17th. Mindfulness is a technique allowing us to let go of the past, to let go of the future, and to be aware and calm in the present moment. Again, please stay tuned following Wake Up Tacoma for 60 seconds to practice being mindful. This has been Wangel. And Philip with Wake Up Tacoma. Have, Have a, a great, great day. day.